So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find where you have Genshin Impact saved. So for me, it's on my C drive, Program Files, Genshin Impact Game. And then you want to find the Genshin Impact EXE game file. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties. Then you want to click on Compatibility. Then you want to tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations and run this program as an administrator. You also want to tick Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for Windows 8 and then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search and then type in Display Settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. Make sure that your scale is 100% recommended and that your display resolution is in your monitor's native resolution. So for me, it's 1920 by 1080. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search and then type in Graphic Settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that under Add an App, you have Desktop App selected and then click on Browse. Then you want to find where you have Genshin Impact installed again. So it's on my C drive, Program Files, scroll down, Genshin Impact Game. Then you want to add the Genshin Impact EXE file. And then once it's been added here, you want to click on Options and then set the performance to high performance and then click on Save. Now for the next step, you want to make sure the graphics card drivers are fully updated. So for me, I have GeForce Experience, which comes with my NVIDIA graphics card. If you're using AMD, you want to get the software for that. Now, if you're on GeForce Experience, you want to click on Drivers and then click on Check for Updates. Make sure the graphics card driver is fully up to date. Now, once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.